Hi there, everybody. It's Gerard from GH Immigration Services here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I am going to do another update here. And I want to talk to you about hiring your immigration consultant or your immigration lawyer. Now, we know that there are so many individuals that are getting taken advantage of from all over the world by ghost consultants or by fake consultants that are holding themselves as immigration uh, consultants or lawyers. Well, there's always some things that you have to look for to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of. Even the offices that you can go into in your own country, a lot of those uh, consultants in that are not registered to be able to do business for you. Now, you should really start looking very much into the details of doing it when you are look, considering hiring somebody. Now, they can use, if you're an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer, you can use agents that are outside of your jurisdiction. But if you're going to do that, those agents still have to disclose on who they're working with. Okay. So anyways, here, I want to give you a few tips to really think about when it comes to the, when it comes to um, hiring your consultants and that. So one of the big things is the credentials of an, of an IRCC immigration consultant or an, or an immigration lawyer. We all have credentials. We all are registered. So for an immigration consultant, you go to the ICCRC website and all you do is take that immigration consultant's name and type their name into search for a consultant and their name will come up. And when you click on their name, it will give you the registration and an email address. This is a very easy way, way to find out if they are the true person that you're talking to. Because all you have to do is send that email. That is the email we are required by immigration to uh, have all individuals contact us. So if you uh, click on that and you send an email that says, Hi, I am uh, such and such and I was just talking to you. And if somebody comes back to say, I don't know what you're talking about, or why am, are you contacting me, uh, you know there's something wrong. Okay, so make sure that, um, the num that the person is real that you're talking to. Also, we our registration numbers, like mine is R531467. So there are no more numbers than that. So there's no more than six numbers in the, in the uh, registration number. So if you have one, and I've contacted this, had this happen to me because I've had people that were po um, uh, pretending to be me. And uh, when I clicked on it, it took to a fake ICCR website showing my number and everything else. But it was a seven-digit number. And a seven-digit number is not it. So, and like I said, send an email to make sure that it's, it's a real person. Next thing to do is... The phone numbers and that that they provide to you should be the same number that is either on their website or an app or uh, some other contact information. It should be a legitimate number. Now, when you contact them through that number, uh, like my business number is in Canada, plus one two zero four three 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 zero seven four four. Once you contact that number, I may say to you, I'll give you another number or another email address or whatever else to, say, to contact with because... If we're dealing with so many clients, sometimes we have other numbers or other emails or whatever the case is. But you know at this point you've contacted the right person. Your immigration consultant or immigration lawyer should not be afraid to talk to you on video. If you're that nervous, if you're very, very nervous and feel that it's not right, they should talk to you like this and not have a problem talking to you. Sure, they have to may, maybe have to make a time for you to do it or whatever the case is, but they will do it just to make uh, if they don't do it, then they're not the person for you. You should have a certain amount of comfort level with the person that you're talking to. So you should be able to talk to. If they say, oh, our, uh, um, uh, my phone is not working well or whatever kind of excuses, you know, it's like uh, there is no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse why you could not see the person you are trying to deal with from on video. So always remember that. Um so, like I say, uh, also, if they are they are have to be registered with the, uh, the ICCRC as well as an, for all immigration consultants. The other thing is your guarantee. If they guarantee you results, there is an issue. No immigration consultant and no immigration lawyer can ever guarantee results. 
If they're telling you, we guarantee you a job, we guarantee you this or that, that is the first sign to run away because there's no guarantees. We do not make the decision. Immigration Canada is the one who makes all decisions when it comes to the final applications. We're, our job is to do the best possible application that when they see it, they believe everything that's in that application. Okay, so that's what our job is. Immigration, it's their job to approve it. So we ha also have other avenues if things don't go right or whatever the case is, if it's rejected or whatever, there's always appeals and so on and so forth. But that is the first thing to remember. So no guarantees ever. Uh, fees, uh, most immigration consultants and lawyers deal with milestones in that, like which means we, uh, if we're doing a job application or something like that, there's always different levels. Like personally, like myself, if I'm doing an LMIA, I do the LMIA. If I'm doing, um, then I'm doing the work permit. If they're all milestones. So I charge accordingly. I charge accordingly. I do my the application fees when it comes to an LMIA. Then I do the application for when it comes to a work permit. And then if there's the permanent residency, I do the application for that. So those are all different milestones. So if somebody says to you, like, you need $10,000 down right off the bat, there's you know, that's an awful lot of money in other currencies. So really think about that as well when you're doing it. So if you can't afford that, fine, uh, you know, shop around just like anybody else. You know, shop around just like buying a new car or buying an, a new sofa for your living room. Shop around. All our fees are different. Usually most of our, you know, it's most, if you go at a, 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 an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer and, and you they tell you what their fee is, their fees are not going to move from there. So you might as well look at another one. And that, so because a lot of it's, it's usually it's set in stone for certain reasons and that's why it's the way it is. Um, so, and when, and if you go to places you look for, uh, and you're looking at um, photographs or whatever from ICCR, from immigration consultants and that, look at the photos really careful if you're not talking them on video like this. Look at the photos very careful because you have to make sure that those photos are not doctored. See it all the time. I see it all the time, these doctored photos where they'll do something, they'll put a, like here up behind me, I have my ICCRC uh, um, registration and certificate here. This here is mine, but I've seen where people have used my, uh, their image using my photograph, my, my RCCR things. And you can tell they're not, and the person that they're using is not even a real person either. So anyways, just watch for those kinds of things when it comes to that. Remember, the biggest point I'm trying to get across to you here is this is your hard-earned money, you know, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's your family's that's giving you the money or whatever the case. Somebody had to earn that money. And you have a certain level of trust you're looking for when you're hiring one of us. And that. So the biggest thing to remember is no guarantees. Guarantees are illegal. So if they're guaranteeing you, then there's something wrong. So anyways, I just wanted to put this out. I'm, and I wanted everybody to have a chance to have a look at it and realize that there are a lot of really good professionals out there that are there to help you along. Just be careful on who you're hiring and look and make sure they are legit. Anyways, it's, this is Gerard from GH Immigration Services here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And thank you for watching this and I hope you find it useful. Have yourself a good and, and stay safe.